Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. Hello everyone, I am Apostle Daniel Akbai. Today we are looking at this topic um, that will really bless us. Before you go into, into intertribal marriage, there are things you need to consider. Uh, inter intertribal marriage is the kind of marriage that you go into outside your tribe, outside your language, outside your state, outside your country. So intertribal marriage is not bad. There's nothing bad about it, but the reason why I'm doing this video is to educate us, is to tell us what we must expect before, what we must expect for, from intertribal marriage before we venture into it. Like I said, it's not a sin to marry someone that is not a tribe, it's not a sin to go into a tribal marriage, but there are things you must prepare yourself for. Number one, before you go into intertribal marriage, you need to be sacrificial. Yes, you need to make up your mind that you are going to be sacrificial. So this sacrificial means that you need to uh, let go some things about your culture, about your way of life, your upbringing, because the family you are going to have a different orientation entirely all right the way of, of their thinking their cultural belief their food you need to be sacrificial so imagine getting married to let me cite an example imagine getting married to someone who is a yoruba and you are evil now this yoruba guy may like iwedu and begri i'm citing an example then in the east there's nothing like iwedu and begri all right so you need to sacrifice to see that he eats what he wants to and the guy too needs to consider the wife by allowing her to eat what she wants so not eating it alone because both of you eat together you are going to be eating together and blend together another thing you must consider before you go into intertribal marriage is that you are going to learn new things everything new you are going to be learning about their culture you are going to be learning about their food you are going to be learning about their way of life you are going to be learning about their views of life all right so if you are going into intertribal marriage you need to take out time first to be sacrificial uh, number two to 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 learn new things about the person you are getting married to because this is a different em em environment this is a different orientation this is a different you are going to meet so many different things all right that is number two then number three if you are going into intertribal marriage number three there is something i like to drop here you must do all you can to fight discrimination smartly and wisely because whether you like it or not it is your husband that loves you it is your woman that loves you there are people who are really i mean who are tribal extremists who may feel that he is not our tribe she is not our tribe they you they look at that person with a stranger's kind of eye all right so you must try everything possible to ensure you are able to blend with this kind of people and one of the best way to do that is to love everybody is to be welcoming is to be receptive and all of that so that will help you a lot so number four if you are going into intertribal inter marriage you must be ready to compromise compromise for each other all right you need to compromise when i talk about about you compromising for each other here there are things that you need to just let go you just feel no this i do this for you so you don't argue about what your husband or your wife believe to be right about food about anything you just need to compromise in some things if your marriage must work because 
you people are coming from different background you are coming from a place i mean different places with different orientation so that compromise is very very important finally if you are going into intertribal marriage you must know that you have a lot of tasks out there making people to love you making them to you need to go along you can even begin to learn their language you need to begin to learn because one major issues that um, uh, people have had in intertribal marriage over the years is that many believe that when a language is being spoken the language of the husband or the wife that as, as long as they don't understand what is being said they be, become suspicious all right so do all you can not to suspect anything you do not understand you suspect it's, it's like my in-laws are speaking against me it's like my husband or my wife just spoke something contrary against me that i don't know okay like um, my i married my wife my wife is my tribe but then she grew up in the north and she flows with Hausa a lot I remember when we got married, she'll be blasting outside with the brother, the siblings, everyone. They'll just be speaking, and I'll just sit and just be looking as if I don't even know what is happening. All right? I'll say, what are you talking about now? What are you talking about? So, over time, I began, because when they are around, they, they always like to speak outside, mostly. So, I, over time, I began to ask them, what is the meaning of uh, Turenchi, what is the meaning of Kato? What is the meaning of, uh, you know, I began to ask like that, little, little, all those little, little ones. So over time, when they are communicating, they are talking, I'll be hearing what they are talking, I'll will, I will reply in English like that, stuff like that. So that is what love does. So do all you can to learn the language as well. It will really help you from being suspicious of what is being said that might not be against you. If this has helped you, hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I love you. God bless you. Bye.